Welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Andy Zambito. I'm the Chief Sales Officer at Creatio for the Americas, and I'll be your host for today's interview. And I'm, I'm super pleased to be joined today by Butch Knowlton, who's the Executive Vice President and Chief Information Officer at Ringler, uh, responsible for both setting and overseeing the, the IT strategy and defining uh, how Ringler manages information across the organization. Thank you so much for joining today, Butch. Hey, Andy. Great to be here. You know, as a, a senior strategist and IT architect, uh, you're enabling Ringler to do some amazing things in the future. Uh, but I'd, I'd love for you to just take a moment and uh, explain for our audience a little bit more about Ringler because it has a long and, and storied history. Yeah, so Ringler is the, the largest and the oldest uh, structured settlement organization in the country. So we have multiple offices across the country and we're made up of, of individual entrepreneurial offices who mediate and uh, broker with uh, uh, settlements with plaintiff and defense attorneys, uh, mediators, claims organizations. They, they work with judges to mediate those settlements. And so uh, our moniker is everybody wins because we don't necessarily represent one side or the other. We're there to make sure that uh, an individual who, who, who needs to have support from a settlement perspective and income for life uh, is, is made as whole as they can be at the end of the day. Oh, that's, that's actually amazing. I love that, that motto, everyone wins. Are there some particular additional things that you're doing to kind of fulfill on, on that mission, how you help both you know, kind of customers and partners succeed? Yeah, so what we typically do is uh, we work with the life companies. Uh, we work, again, with plaintiff and defense attorneys and individual uh, claims organizations as well as third-party administrators. And uh, we work with all of them to, uh, to try to um, come up with the right solution for those settlements. And so some of the things that we do to enable that business through technologies is, is really through integration. Uh, so whether it is um, an API that we run between the business to business organizations so that we're able to exchange data. Uh, we spend a lot of time uh, helping organizations understand what their data looks like, what their experience has been with Ringler to help them continue to make data-driven decisions organizationally. Oh, that sounds amazing. Well, so you've hit on obviously one of the primary topics for everyone of digital transformation, and you're clearly on, on the path. What's your particular approach to leading a digital transformation? Uh, well, what we typically do is we'll take a look at <clears throat> current, you know, uh, stereotypically, right? Uh, current state, future state, where we are in that, in that con continuum. And then what are the things that we need to do to execute to be able to get there? Uh, so first is, you know, do we want to go into the cloud? Uh, do we want to go uh, hybrid? You know, where are we in that in that spectrum of, of uh, capability? And then, um, you know, how far along do we want to go? And how much money do we, we want to invest? And how 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 fast do we go? How how quickly do we want to accelerate that that project? And, and so that's typically how we'll address it. You know, I read uh, an interesting article that you were featured in recently, and you used a term I hadn't heard before that you were in the curve of the digital transformation. What what did you mean by that? Well, typically when, uh, when you're uh, driving on a road, uh, at least in a back road where you, it's fairly curvy, you know how you, you go into the curve and you slow down a little bit. And then as you come out of the curve, you begin to accelerate. Uh, and so that's, that, that's what I meant by being, it, we're in the curve. So we're in the process of, we slowed down enough, we've got the car under control, now we're ready to accelerate out of that curve. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's, let's stay on that thread just another moment then. So. It, is there something in particular that you're accelerating towards some kind of end state vision that you have for this transformation that you think is going to be super impactful that you're laying, laying track for right now? Yeah. So we've gone through, <clears throat> excuse me, we've gone through a, uh, a major project that has uh, replaced multiple legacy systems. Uh, Creation has been critical to that, to that project uh, where we, we have taken an older accounting system a uh, two different claims management systems, uh, some some um, old aging technology from an old on-prem data center. Uh, we've got a, a virtual data center, and we also have some cloud components. And so, we've taken uh, all of that project and uh, been able to deliver through our digital transformation the project itself. In order to be able to deliver that project, we needed to to make some changes on the, on the infrastructure around security and really needed to have a strategy around where we need to be 
uh, as we finish this project. So if you think about that curve, uh, our goal is to really be into the uh, full cloud um, transformation for our organization for a number of reasons. One is that we're not a large organization. We're not in a large IT shop. Uh, so the cloud enables us to be able to, to manage with a little bit smaller staff and have the, the confidence that we've got, uh, you know, secure uh, application suite, as well as uh, take advantage of all the tools that we have within Azure. Uh, and we don't need a large, uh, you know, development and, and infrastructure team in order to be able to execute that within the cloud. Uh, in addition, no, I, that I, integrates, the cloud integrates really nicely with uh, with all of our uh, all of our clients and uh, vendors. And so, Creation is, is, is another example of of uh, one of our vendors who we were able to integrate into the cloud through Azure, uh, and and allows us to take advantage of all the all the components of the cloud there. But let's uh, stay on that moment for a moment. I noticed in that, that same article that it was, it was interesting, you know, you're leading all of this, uh, th these uh, tremendous IT resources, but that you yourself, you know, aren't a coder. That kind of leads me to the question of, you know, when you look at the, you mentioned this large ecosystem of different technology, uh, technological partners that you're bringing together to fulfill this vision. What's the specific role of Creatio in implementing the strategy for those uh, of our listeners who are, are really looking to understand that piece? So Creatio, uh, we've decided to make Creatio uh, basically the, the front end of our, uh, our overall application suite. And so <clears throat> uh, Creatio, because it has a, not only a CRM piece, but also a BPM or business process management capability, it allows us to pull in the, the components that we need for quoting with our life companies and uh, all the products that we use to build those structured settlements. Uh, and we can integrate our quoting capability with that. In addition, we're able to use the, the business process uh, rules and capabilities within Creatio to create our own customized uh, case management system. And so we're able to consume, uh, you know, that, that initial lead uh, turns into what would become a case, which would turn into a settled case, which would turn into the integration that we have on the back end with our accounting system that we're able to uh, show what an individual organization's uh, commissions might be. As in addition to that, we're, we're collecting all the data on the back end so that we can represent, you know, what's, at, what's actually occurring within the business to allow us to make, continue to make decisions. So Creatio has been, become sort of our, our, our uh, user uh, inner experience or, por excuse me, or portal uh, that we have uh, for our overall organization. Uh, that sounds amazing. But then that also <laughs> leads to a question that a lot of folks uh, like to understand is, it seems like a lot of change for employees, right? A lot of really great tools that are being brought to bear, a lot of great new processes. How are you managing the, the technology change for the employees? Well, we've integrated a digital adoption uh, software that has worked quite nicely with Creatio uh, from a help and uh, experience perspective, tool tips, in addition to uh, really trying to create the cultural communications around this change is coming. Uh, and these are the things that these are the benefits we'll have overall organizationally. And we're replacing multiple applications so that an individual experience now becomes interacting with one system or one experience versus, uh, you know, five different places to go with that kind of thing. And so, so I think that uh, while change can be difficult, especially for some of our organization uh, who's, who's had the same tools for quite some time, I think that the benefit long term they'll begin to see that really quickly, but, but lots of communication, lots of training, lots of uh, uh, help within the tool tips, within the applications and, uh, and uh, you know, focus on uh, understanding the changes is, is coming and, and, and always fun. <laughs> well, absolutely. Well, you know, and I think for a lot of employees, oftentimes the, the movement from some of those hard manual processes that you talked about through the new workflows is kind of that encouragement towards the, the adoption. Uh, can we speak a little bit about more about that? You know, maybe some of the workflows that you built using the kind of low code, no code tools, or in general, specifically how low codes helped you achieve some of your, your company goals? Yeah. Um, so a lot of what uh, Creatio has in the, sort of out of the box capability really uh, satisfies much of our business requirements associated with, uh, with our CRM, as well as uh, our case management capabilities. And then we're, we're able to uh, configure the low code um, uh, optionality within, within Creatio uh, that allows us to create the experience that we want without having to do, you know, sort of heavy lifting around backend code and, and all the things associated with that. So we take the rules and, and, the, 
and the workflows within Creatio, we can tweak them for ourselves. And then, um, you know, work that, that workflow all the way across uh, from A to Z. And that's been, uh, been a much easier transition for us rather than having to come in and, you know, start from scratch. What has been the employee feedback then? Obviously, so it sounds like this is all helping, you know, get down the road towards these big corporate goals. Um, how, how have the employees uh, embraced it? Well, it's been a lot of feedback, uh, both good and bad. And it's really, as you mentioned, around change. Uh, but when it comes to the experience within the application itself, it's been very good. It's intuitive, um, lots of uh, uh, heavy handed uh, tool tips and other things, knowing in anticipation of the, of the challenges that folks are going to have around change. But the feedback's been great. The workflows run nicely. Um, the uh, the uh, the interaction with the application is is uh, intuitive. Uh, everything seems to flow nicely. You know, one of the concerns that we had as we rolled it out was around the performance of the application and how it would do within the cloud. And uh, everything seems to have been uh, implemented quite well. And so uh, so we don't we are not experiencing right now. Uh, knock on wood, any any experience around um, negative performance. Oh, amazing. Well, I, the, there's always a question that I like to ask uh, when we get towards the end of these is that now if you were to go back and be at the beginning of your transformation journey again, is there anything that you would do differently? Uh, well, I joined the organization uh, part, part way through the, uh, the project. Uh, and so I, I was not able to, uh, to be one of the guys that was selecting Creatio or any of that. Uh, one of the things that I might do uh, differently is uh, to help our business understand the, the how important it is to have good analytics at the very beginning, to elicit the requirements that you have, and to manage the scope uh, for for the implementation. Uh, I would certainly encourage folks to take uh, as much out of the box capabilities that Creatio or any other uh, application has, and implement that first, and then begin to uh, to customize that experience. One of the challenges we've had in implementing it is just managing the business and and how much scope they wanted to have as they began to get excited about uh, the capabilities as we showed them. Uh, so so our, uh, our own internal organization lacked the discipline necessary to, uh, to be able to implement it and then grow it. And so uh, as we uh, have implemented it, it's been a, a lot bigger project than we had planned for, but quite a success. Well, that, that's, of course, wonderful to hear. I mean, especially that, that you're on a success path. Is there any final advice that you'd give our audience that any, regarding any aspect of uh, one of the topics that we've talked about today or where they're considering coming on a similar path as you? Well, I, I just would want to point out that uh, anytime, uh, if, you're, if you're a customer engaged with Creatio, anytime that you're, you're running into a roadblock or having a challenge or not able to figure out a problem, Creatio has been fantastic for us to work with with regard to uh, providing resources, providing solutions, focusing on the implementation, focusing on the, uh, us as a customer. Um, and, and it has been uh, just great to work with in their customer success space uh, and, and literally bent over backwards to, to help us be successful in this project. So if, if at any point you're having any struggle, you know, give your client success team a call and they're gonna, they're gonna figure out a way to, to help you. Uh, what, what kind words, Santa. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and thank you so much for sharing your story with us here today. Um, for those of you listening, please enjoy the rest of your sessions. Thanks, thank Andy. You so Take care.